It is a heart. Oh, sweet. Do you think that's a sarcastic heart? <laughs> yeah, that's a sarcastic heart. Yep. My name is Callie, and I think the phrase, bless your heart, is secretly insulting. Bless your heart. I'm Mike, and I believe the phrase, bless your heart, is a genuine sentiment. Bless your heart. Oh, you think it's genuine? Bless your heart. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, I wish we lived in your world. <laughs> it is a fine world to live in. I would recommend it to anyone. Where you're, you're in Mayberry, you and Aunt Bea are on the porch, and you're churning some butter and everyone's blessing each other's hearts. That's right. not what we're in this now. This can be our world. Say it, say it nice. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't do it. Come on, say it. <laughs> you need to try a little harder. In the real world, I don't think people actually mean it. You're saying kindness doesn't exist. No, kindness <laughs> exists, but no one says bless your heart in, in a good way. I think the meaning goes back to something, something big, something real something genuine and something of God. So if you use it wrong, you could be going to a bad place. I think. <laughs> You've probably never really embarrassed yourself as much as I have, but I've fallen flat on my butt on a ball field and had the team mom run up to me and say, well, bless your heart. You know, you're saying she meant, get on out of here, you jerk. Hadn't you rather her just not have said anything like that? If you're okay, like you're just gonna get up and be embarrassed anyway. You don't need people being like, it really looks like you hurt yourself. You know, bless your heart, but hey, did you see that guy? My heart needs so much blessing every day that, that maybe that's my problem. So I didn't want to bring mothers into this. Oh, Lord. I was on the phone with Wanda. That's my mom. Mom, me and my friend Ike have been bickering, and we've been talking about bless your heart. My position is that it's an insult. It's not positive. She's like, well, it is. And I'm like, Mom, thank you. You were taught to be sarcastic and rude to people. That would explain a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I have to think that older people use it more. Um, I don't have a lot of personal experience with that. And I don't mean like older than anyone at the porch. That was not a dig. That was not a dig. <laughs> older than, well, like we're like, you know, well older. You might can get off a nice bless your heart right now if you tried. <laughs> <laughs> I like to go back to famous usages of bless your heart. What does Kim Kardashian say about I, it? Well, she probably doesn't understand irony. Tennessee Ernie Ford had a great song, bless your pea picking heart. It became his catchphrase. When he went on stage at the Grand Ole Opry and told the crowd, bless your pea picking heart, he didn't mean all, everybody who comes to the Opry is an idiot and y'all need to go home. Okay. Dolly Parton, I've heard use bless your heart a million times. Dolly doesn't have a catty bone in her body. I can't argue with that. Bless your heart literally means, I hope good things happen to you. Because they're so bad right now. <laughs> <laughs> so do you, you hear it in everyday speech? Not as much as I used to mm -hmm. because people like the people you know have abused it to the point where it's become a joke on t-shirts. <laughs> that felt like a personal attack, Mr. Nice Guy. It, it kind of was. <laughs> it's, again, it's, we all want to live in that world and everyone's blessing each other's hearts for better or worse. It's used in that classic Southern kind of caddy gossiping on the porch way. I'm sorry, it's yeah. true. The world's tough. We need to have our hearts blessed. That, that's beautiful. Yeah, you're right. Bless your heart. Good effort. Bless your heart. <laughs> bless your heart more. <laughs> bless, bless your heart more. <laughs> this episode of Back Porch Bickering was brought to you mosquito free. Mosquito Joe, outside is fun again. 